Hi, this is Andovich with a 4v4 scrim. Um, this is basically for the One Night Cup that's going to be on Sunday. And I've got two teams here which are Smolder and Carrots, who are going to be on the blue team. And then it's Royal with Cheese, who are going to be on the red. Basically it's 4v4, you can have Class Limit 1, and it's Medic or Heavy, but you can't have both. And it's basically just like a fun cup. This map is going to be, um, it's King of the Hill Rail Bridge. Which I think it was like in a star video, and it came second in like this map contest. It's basically just King of the Hill. The point is directly under this bridge, and there's a massive train that goes over it. Anyway, it's first to three. I'm just gonna get underway. I'm just gonna try and do a little bit of casting in there. Let's see how it goes. Just have a quick look around the map, and I think the teams are just about to ready up now. Yeah, there we go. So let's just see what we've got going on over on the blue team. Blue team are actually choosing to run the heavy. A lot of teams who I've been talking to have been saying that they want to run a medic, which the red team are. And that red team are running crits as well, so Royal Witch is going to be going ahead with that one. But if we just skip straight ahead to the midpoint, we're going to have a quick look to see what's going on. Blue team are just going to try and take the lower ground. I'm not sure that's going to work. Scout is going to focus that blue down and going to tread away. Now, that's a 3v4 for the blue team. I'm not sure if they want to fight that. Really, it'd be a good idea if they take to just get out while the red team are just taking up that high ground. And they've just turned out into a, like a 1 versus 4. So already, Rao with Cheese are looking really dominant. And then look, like the heavy. Okay, managed to kill the scout, but that's still team wipe for Flaming Carrot. So it's still not looking great over there. <laughs> scout down. Oh, this is the train. Yeah, but Rao with Cheese are going to take that one up. Cap that up really nicely. That's exactly what it looks like. It's going to be interesting to see how Flaming Carrots react to this one. I think they're just going to carry on with a Heavy again, who instantly gets taken down. And then they lose their Soldier as well, but the demo has the high ground. And high ground on this map, I think, is what makes it up. What makes the difference. Because with two players, they've just zoned out the red team. Put some serious damage on that medic. You dropped to Rollers! <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, uh, that roller. Mm. The control point is being contested. Yeah, it looks like um just because of that and that zoning out from the high ground, Flaming Cat's gonna take it. Oh god. Oh god. I hear trains. I hear trains. <laughs> <laughs> this map. It's good. But yeah, it's modern carrots uh We've got the high ground, they've got the control of the health pack, they can just spam down onto the point, so it looks like they're just going to retain this for a bit further, but the demo is jumping up. The takes down Blue Soldier. Medic! Looks like he's going to have a push on there as soon as he meets up with his medic. Hey, hey. Yeah, and Rao is looking in a very dominant position Fire now. The All the Blue has got left captured. is this Heavy. The heavy's on the high ground, actually. Can he do anything? I don't think he will. I don't think he's just going to die. Oh, he takes down the Soldier. It's only just a trade. This really just seems to be like a back and forth type thing. Let's actually have a quick look through like player perspectives. See what Stripe is going to do on the scale. I think he's using the Criticola. The thing that like make you run faster and do mini crits. Just going to see what he gets up to. Lose this medic and dice to fall damage from Lazy Jam. Oh dear. Mm. And... Yeah, every pick seems to be crucial in this game, which, with only four, King Thorn just jumps down to his death. But he manages to trade for a Scarron. Yeah, before we fought, every pick seems to be so crucial that just two people dying just takes it out. Oh, and we got Matt Kufas in the chat if the sandwich is banned. Because I think Chris is running the steak sandwich, which is like the one they eat it and you get a mini crit. It's like the Criticola. And that one's okay, like, you can have that one and throw it to your team, and you're allowed to have that one. But you can't have like the one where you eat it yourself and get a full heal. Is that train gonna hit anybody? Nah, it's not going in. Let's right. see what happens here. Heavy on the high ground is quite good. Is he gonna deny that jumper? No, he's just gonna get right up on that high ground. Both demos go down for each team. I'm not sure if Red are actually gonna like try and repush this. Lazy is very weak at the moment. The downside's not having a medic. Any damage you take is way more permanent. Yeah, lazy goes down. They're not pushing their advantage though. Probably it seems to be heavy versus the world. And Chris just goes down immediately. Hmm. 
Lane Towers to do a decent job of just mopping up the red team and then King Kron says no, that's it. I'll take you out anyway. Scout versus Soldier, this is basically MG at this point. And Soldier wins. He's just gonna cap the point. And <laughs> gets killed by another dive bombing soldier. Let's see if the medic demo combo can do anything here. I don't think it will. Yeah, they get locked up really nicely. This guy just comes right in. Stripey just wins the scout v scout battle between him and Addy there. It's interesting to see now how blue are gonna like kind of contest this. Is he gonna like take the high ground again? Even though Mike, if he's still running that crit. Thanks, Doc. Alert. Our control point is being captured. Oh. Oh, what is this? Goes for a dive blade. Oh no, he falls down! Is gonna get the medic? Come on, get the medic. Oh no. That was sneaky Roma play. So close as well. <laughs> They've been so good. So this is just looking like 1v3. I don't know where the rest of modern cats are. Coming up now. Chris just takes so much damage so early. He instantly went from like 300 to. And Crits comes in! Crits comes in and just wipes up. Down, man. Is that Solly gonna get anybody? He does! Just surfs off the train. And it looks now like Rao G's is just going to take this round. I think, yeah, Flaming Carrots are going to get it for a little short amount of time, but Maku's alive. He can still start building that crits up again. He should be able to get it in time. If only he doesn't die. Let's see where these guys are. Oh, and he goes on demo. He just dies. Oh, no. I think that's just gonna like delay the game and just make it go in like playing character's favour now. See another train show up. Scout saved by the train. I manages to actually clean up and take down the heavy. And then takes down the demo and takes down everyone else. And it looks like it's gonna actually gonna be a cat for with cheese. Really close for double overtime rounds are the best. And that's 1-0. For Rabu Cheese getting off to an early start. This game is going to be um, first to three. So it's like best out of five type thing. And we have a pause. Okay. Not too sure what the pause is. I think the demo, um, blue demo, Dr. Jip. Is it Jip Grad? I don't know how to say his name. Uh, this guy. Mm. Yeah, I think he crashed or lagged out because he's not moving. But it's interesting to see what the team's going with. I mean, we've got Smoldering Carrots, which are basically like Highlander Team Flaming Carrots, who have just run constant heavy so far. Like, I don't think I've actually seen... Yeah, they've just had a heavy the entire last round. Whereas Rawi Cheese, our red team here, have just been going with this Grits Creek. Constantly, and that's back to the um, the whole rule of you can have a heavy or a medic, kind of both. Because otherwise, everybody would just be running around with like heavy medics and just being really obnoxious. Oh, Matt is actually back on medigun now. What's that standard default uber charge? And soldier's feet. Okay. Ah, and there we go. Yeah, it was the down man who crashed down. Let's just have a quick look. Watch. See what goes on on the point. A red skirt's so that first one to get there, which is using that critical speed boost. Instantly dies, but puts so much damage on Chris. Chris just can't contest anything right now. He has to back out. The team is just taking over that high ground on the left. Taking massive damage from that blue demo man. Not gonna die? I don't think he is. And Chris, Luke trying to get the health kit, still goes down. 
Managed to trade for Stripey though. He's just playing demo man at the moment. No, this is going to be a cat for us. Mordor and Carrot's team. This is going to Scary is going to contest. I don't think he's going to get anything though. I need to take out Lazy, but we have Uber Charge coming out from our red team, our cheese right now. That's Uber Demo Man coming onto the point. There's only so much damage you can do as a heavy, but not enough to negate an Uber Charge. He does manage to take down earlier, though, before getting taken out himself. No, this Demo Spam onto the point. It seems to go such a long way just having a couple of stickies. See what else we can find. Alert. The control point is being contested. Aliens caps off the point. For not to get just jumped back. And so it's just noticing like a recurring pattern, which is just teams jump up here, span down, cap the point, and then the other team jump up, span down, cap the point. Except for our heavy, he just doesn't give a flying fuck. Uh, he backs off to find health, but this time he's just ticking down for our OGs right now. And <laughs> he gets taken out with a scare out here. He's obviously going to get anything. Nope, just dies. And that's a team wipe for our Flame of Carrots team. And the point still hasn't been capped. It's just going to keep ticking down for our OGs right now, making it right about even. Because they did have that strong start early on, Flaming Carrots. And we have a full Uber again. As well, it's going to be interesting. He's going to get used. All of our OGs are just sitting on this small point. And yeah, Medic's getting juggled. Managed to reconnect with his Solly. He's going to go in. Oh, okay, what are we going to see here? Everybody is in this corridor. Drippy goes down. <laughs> what? What? What am I watching? What? What is this game? Okay. <laughs> nice to see um, Chris is actually moving away from that heavy onto the medic. He's got a crit screen, and I think with those um, Uber swords that he just managed to get, in that ridiculous fight. Got a really nice bit of vantage scenario. And then the red team are going sniper. Let's see if we can actually get onto his cam. See, can he escape from this scarab? I don't think he will. Nice just to reconnect with his medic though. Come on. Oh, he misses. Come on, strike me. Oh! Chris goes down. It's like a body shot and alias and scarab. That is really good work. And just gets mobbed up. Not really much of a drop because it's crits. Like you couldn't have popped Uber to not die in that case. But yeah, yeah, yeah. oh man, just lost that advantage. Yeah. Chris though is still sticking seconds. on medic. He hasn't moved away. Is he still running crits? Yeah, he's still running crits. The control point is being contested. And crits is kind of an interesting choice. Just I suppose it's like you can just have two crits rockets kill two people and win that fight. So this sort of work. Everyone jumps off the higher ground in the train. Are Flaming Cat's going to be able to finish this cap? I don't think they will. That's another team wipe for them. So this round is just getting closer and closer. Dick. <laughs> yeah, we've got 20 seconds. They push this. I'm not too sure if they're actually going to do it. Chris is back on that heavy though. So they've got that damage. He just drops down on the high ground. Can they do it? Yeah, and that point's going to get capped. And now Red Medic's going huge. Walks in front of the Medigan though. And then it's two versus two. And it. Think, are they going to block it? Yeah, then we've got to, we've got to recontest this. And then Scout goes down. It's actually looking quite close. Medic! Medic! It looks like the red team are going to push up this weird sort of ramp room. 
Are they... They are there back on the medigun. It's just going to be... Jumping and diving in. It's heavy, it's just going to sit and block the point. And the scout is just doing such a good job of like keeping these guys zoned in here. The point is actually about cat. And the scout block... Uh, the soldier block it, it does. It cleans up. Is he going to die to the scout? Come on, 4 HP. And then we've got Chris on a heavy who's right back up. I don't think Red can actually do this now. Mission ends in 10 seconds. I think this heavy is just too much damage and too much tank. Need to do it. <laughs> Especially. <laughs> go, medic! Go! Ah. Oh. Yeah, and that's a round first modern character. Just drawing it up, making it 1 1. Someone's in chat says this is close as, and I've just got to agree, it really is. Let's put some rollouts this round. Let's go with King Prawn, just watch his solid rollout, see where he goes. He's just going to jump right up here and take the high ground on the left. Well, let's see what the team decides to do. It seems everybody wants to go for this high ground, even the heavies up here. And he's just shooting this soldier right up into the air, making it 2-2. Oh, we've got her team chat as well, so a little shout out to him. He's in Team Smashed, I believe. Yeah, it is Team Smashed. And I think they also play a scrim against Royal well, Keys later today. And this looks like a pretty convincing victory for our carrots team. Throws a sandwich out for heals. Seems like a pretty easy way of keeping a soldier on the field. It's carrots plus health kit. Uh, sandwich plus health kit. Oh, sneaky Roma plays by, <laughs> by Lazy Jam just gets me behind and takes out the medic. But they're still going to contest anyway. Chris just drops Darren, takes a shit ton of damage, trades with a demo. And now Aelis just doesn't care. Just takes two kills anyway. Come on, train. Please, train. Ah. Is Lazy going for sneaky... Oh. And then we got him from that king just dies. And he jumps the demo, gets the demo. And that was just a bit of a failed push for our Albert Keys team. It doesn't look too good for them. Is he going to get away? I think he's going to get away. And Matthew goes back to that medic rather than the heavy. I think they tried it once, didn't like it, didn't work out for him. Let's go back to what I know. <laughs> oh, lazy. Just doing so much work. Who can get as many Ubisoft hits as he wants? But if he dies right afterwards, it just doesn't work. And that was nearly a wipe. Right, with cheese. Just, I think it was just like King Prawn left with about 9 HP. Although, this point is very close to cat. But then again, look at the times right now. Modern carrots have just, like, they've got such an advantage, they've had a few two minutes of cap time. It's heavy up top, it's so dominant. And Aeneas comes in behind and just, just so much work. How sticky is that? Okay. I don't even know how to commentate this. This is just ridiculous. Matthew has 100% on the crit screen again, which I think he was on scout, but it's not going to matter because heavy drop. <laughs> I can't commentate this. It's too good. 
and this scare these scare battles seems to have been happening every like every game. Every push seems to evolve around scare versus scare. You might have to like allow the gunslinger or something. The demo is just spamming up on point, trying to do something, get shut down. Bit of an aggressive play when you've only got three people in your team up. But Modern Caps are going to contest me too. And using that heavy power, he does get taken down straight away, but he's basically going to pull something off. No, he's going to hit his head on the bridge. He's going to make it out though. Let's see what can Addy do. Is he going to back out as well? Maybe the clever thing. Go on, Maisie. Is he manages to get a pick on Prawn? He's gonna be able to get this demo. Too sure. Nobody is gonna be able to get it out of there. And the only characters are just gonna recap this point by the look of it. They gave it away for about a minute and a half. It still looks very in control. Mission ends in 30 seconds. Of this round. On. Get, the, get the med pick. Do it. Alert. The control point is being contested. Oh. Maku manages to um, get an Uber saw on Aegis Jam, which gives him that Uber. And then. Just to go in, the kill the heavy. All the, the only person that's left now is just. Three, demo two, goes down. One. And overtime now. So it all depends on, like, if Royal Cheese can just defend this for 1 minute 30 seconds without letting it go once. I'm not too sure they'll do it, but I think they've got the lineup to do it. They've got their medic, they've got their overhills. They've got their demo man, so they have sticky traps. Never scary, it just seems to be amazing at the moment. And then, Flaming Cats lose 2 anyway. And, best to be free, this head is going to go down. But he does manage to trade with Vadius, and the way that spawn times work, trades are good. For smoldering carrots right now. Distinctive lack of trades. Mission ends in 60 seconds. Alert. Our control point is being captured. Oops. I think for our witches, I actually have a really good chance of winning this now. Smoldering Carrots have just been pushing, but they've been pushing it in sort of like in twos and threes. But our witches have held this for a minute now, about a minute twenty, and they've actually built their Uber. They have it. So that's eight seconds where they can just block captures. And yeah, they're just. If I was them, I'd just pop it on the point right now. Okay. I mean, you can push in from the top left, but then you instantly lose two to spam. Yeah, they just pop it on the point. We do the sensible thing. <laughs> this round goes to double overtime again. I don't know how to commentate this. This is so mad. I've got Stripey on demo. Let's see what he does for his rollout. He's going up through the like the top battlements area. Goes for the health pack. And then we'll see where teams go. So, well our witches seem to be just like taking up the higher ground up to the right side. And Ivy goes down straight away. Looks like Lazy is gonna go down as well. Yeah, and so does Chris. So it looks like a really good showing at the moment for our witches. Just early domination from them. And Dr. Grip has got left. I've been replaced by Hurty from Smash, yeah. That makes more sense. I just looked at the scoreboard and was wondering why the names changed. What? <laughs> medic pick by the train! What? I'm never going to be able to get over that. I just don't think I will. Anyway, this heavy is just staying alive for such a ridiculous amount of time. I think he's just sat here and just capped this point by himself. 
but they're all looking pretty weak now. Over on our blue team, well, the red team, they're just, they can sit back, they can get their overheals. They can charge, what does Macro have? Yeah, they can charge up the Rubo, but they're not, they're just going to push in. Try and sort of ruins the push. This map, they're just getting on that point early. Gonna get some cap time. Get wrap around. Blue team. Chris goes down. Not heavy. He's gonna be from the demo. Do anything? No demo. Just gonna die. And who's that? Demo one soldier versus just this soldier. Looks to be. Some scouts around somewhere. And they're just gonna re scout goes down. They're just gonna re push right through that. Game. <laughs> I'm just gonna like spectate Chris from now on because every time I look over to the point, Chris does something stupid. Like he just walks through and then just kills somebody with a minigun, like in, right in their face. Yeah, shoot your sandwich. We just popped up top and yeah this is time for you to get out. Chris just immediately melts. We'll see what hurt he can do. He just goes down. Kills himself by his own grenades. But I do manage to get this medic. Lazy Trent to trade for Matt Goof. So that's no heals for the red team, no overheals, no Ubers. And now we have flaming characters just ready to go with their classes completely healed up. Aeneas goes down straight away. Chris has taken a lot of damage already, so he's just going to have to back up. Control point is being captured. But, Eddie's got no problem. He's just going to recap it. Be like, what's up? Don't know how he's going to take this demo soul lead combo. Just coming right down and spamming in. He doesn't care. He's going to jump in. Is he going to get the medic? I mean, he will. He's not. Alert. The control point is being contested. I... Mission ends in 60 seconds. <laughs> I don't even... I'm just gonna like stop talking. I think that is the, the correct solution to this. Just stop talking. I mean, I've casted sixes before, but at least then there's sort of like organization to it and like clear pushes. This is just mayhem. I think a heavy is getting Uber Sword. A scout is definitely getting Uber Sword. Maku just runs away. <laughs> we just managed to cap it again. I don't know if they're going to be able to hold it for another ridiculous amount of time though. And it looks like modern characters have the advantage right now, so they should be able to go in. Chris does go down though. So it'll be interesting to see if they just managed to like retake the position. Is Eddie going to do anything? I think he's just going to die. He's on like 16 health. Makuf goes down from a bomb by Lazy though. And Lazy has done a lot of work when it comes to these like med picks. Come on, train. Hit the heavy. Ah, oh. Mission ends in 60 seconds. Go on, Chris. You can do it. You can do it, Chris. No! <laughs> That's... 25 on Chris. Okay, 50. Is he going to get away? I think he's going to get away. No, he's going back in. He doesn't care. And the times are just getting closer and closer. Both teams have got 28 seconds left. This cap. Cap's half done. Modern carrots is going to be able to do it. I think he will. But it's heavy. When you can do it. And yeah, this is, no, it doesn't look like a cap for modern carrots. Looks like a medic pick though. Yeah, Hedge is just going to tie that cap up. Can they hold it for this? 20 seconds, it's probably going to be about 30 when you're capping like over time, that's going to happen. The control point is being captured. 
this is looking so close. Like every round so far has gone to like double overtime. This is ridiculous. And heavy, heavy fight. Chris goes down. Maku goes down shortly afterwards, but still managed to put out enough damage. Demo gets stuck. Are they going to be able to finish this fight? I don't think so. Lazy isn't going to let them. I think the only person who's up right now is Alias, and he's nowhere to be seen. So that makes it 2-2 for Smolder and Carrots, meaning we're going to go to a final game. So the winner of this is going to take all. Let's watch Curti. We'll see what he does. We haven't seen much of him in this game because he's only been playing about half of it. We'll see what route he manages to take on Demo. And he's not even going to jump, I think. He just walks straight up the stairs, starts spamming it. He just starts spamming it through that door. And there he goes down from a pill. And then so Aedis goes down to the minigun. I think Lazy goes for a bomb, runs away, and gets killed by the escape plan. And Chris goes down as well. So that's like a white. That's as well. Yeah, it's a white. That's Modder and Carrot's team. And Royal Cheese is just going to get on there, take the point. And then Needy got that Uber up there. I'm sitting on 80. So that's looking like a really strong position for them. Hello. We've got Alias sitting on Sniper for our with cheese now. Which is interesting enough. Oddly enough, we haven't actually seen that many sort of like weird off classes. It's all been Scout Soldier demo. We've got the heavy medic, which is going to happen. And then we've had like two cases where we've had a sniper. And Scout goes down in the Scout fight. Scout fight goes down, Prawn goes down. Still looking like a decent position for our Flaming Carrots team. Mike manages to flip things out with a little Uber boost. Going to aid with his Uber saw. Knees on the Medigun. Really aggressive hold from the Smolder and Carrots team here. Ooh, a bit of lag. Let's see. Let's follow the lazy camp. Lazy can do this ridiculous in this game. Is he gonna do anything? Oh, easy jumps. Crazy jumps. Oh, is he gonna get out? I don't think he will. Or he does. Uh, again, this looks like a really strong position for Marble Cheese, but Lazy is alive. Come on, I've got faith in this guy. And Pyro <laughs> for our red team. Uber is popped. Don't know if Chris is actually going to get someone. He does get stripey on Scarret. So he trades for a Scarret and an Uber, which is quite good. It's interesting to see. Ah, Hertie goes Pyro as well. Just see him running across the tracks. Don't know what he's going to do that he can't do on demo. We'll see what happens at bottom. Alice goes down. Our Pyro doesn't really do much, but we'll see what's going on in this little right. corridor. The control point is being captured. Go on, Lazy. Go on. Can he do it? He does it, but personally, it doesn't look too good for the rest of Smolder and Carrots so overall at this point. Seems Chris has gone down, Ed has gone down. Can Lazy do anything up here, though? Can he come back and save the day? I think it's just to push out as opposed to numbering King Prawn. And again, the times are looking really close. Oh, I really wanted him to jump in. Um, Chris, turn around, turn around, get this guy. You got the guy. Ends in 60 seconds. I don't even know how I'm going to call this. And heavy pick by a medic. Okay, but instantly punished. Just those rockets are so strong. It's still gonna look like Rawi Cheese's game though. The only person who's is hurty. And he can like he can dance on the point, but I don't think he can actually do much. Mission ends. 
Because he's instantly taken up a really strong position again. Is Chris going to jump that? I don't know if he can do much. Now nah, he just gets extinguished pretty much immediately. Easy jumps in. Don't know if he can do much. He just takes the high ground. Mission ends in 10 seconds. Five. Oh, Managed to three, get a uh, pick and pink roll. But I think they're actually going to pay the point some attention there. It's four versus one. They're going to take this one. I don't know if they're going to be able to actually hold it for one minute 46 though. I mean, they have the demo stickers, but I don't think that heavy is actually going to like contribute as much sustain as like a medic would. You're going to be able to take that scare? That scare is going to die. <laughs> I'm so glad. I caught that one. This game. Oh, we got Stripey back on the um, sniper again. I don't know exactly where he is. Mission ends in 60 seconds. There we go. We'll just watch his cam, see if he manages to get anything. Heavy pick, maybe? Oh, he gets the heavy! That is such a good pick as well. Let's see, they've got 45 seconds in which to take it back. Can he do anything else? I don't think he will. Oh. And Alias gets back on the point. It's going to get taken right down by AD. But we've got this medic couple on top, and they just Uber in onto the point. I think it's desperation tactics to block it at this point. Where's Chris going? Massive damage going out of the flaming carrots, guys. Five, four, I think this is. Yeah. Three, two, it's Team White for our cheese. Four, it's looking like Flaming Carrots' game. And that's it. 3 2. Ridiculously close game. I don't even know how, like, how to cast these 4v4s. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so that was the format. Got another game coming up, which is Smashed vs. Rawi Cheese, which is going to be on Pro Viaduct. So I'll try and get this video up and that one up before the clip, which is going to be on Sunday. I think MB said he wants to cast it, so maybe we'll have some like, coverage of that going up as well. Anyway, <laughs> that has been the most ridiculous game ever. See you later, guys.